Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Josh Culbreth. Welcome back to Newswatch 12 midday. Right now you're taking a look at some very clear skies in Grants Pass. This view coming courtesy of the Tap Rock Northwest Grill. We're on the precipice of 80 degrees this midday. Most of us inland either in the 70s or very low 80s and we're in the low 60s along the coastline in Curry County. The smoke and the haze is all very thin right now. We'll go ahead and put this into motion and by the time we get to around dinner time, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., you can see that we're actually going to have hazeless skies for most of Jackson County and Josephine County and Curry County and the haze that we do have for the east side in Siskiyou County is going to be very, very light. Now we could get some thicker smoke from the bedrock fire overnight into early on Thursday morning for extreme northern Klamath County and then for Lake County, but into the day on Thursday, it's still just going to be some very light haze for most of us and we'll likely have some more clear skies for the west side. Here is your outdoor dining forecast for today for the Rogue Valley, going with five stars and four stars for lunchtime and dinner time, respectively, just because we'll have so much sunshine and because high temperatures will actually be average for this time of the year. So average temperatures, good air quality. That's all you could really ask for this time of the year, which means that we'll be in the mid 80s to the east of the Cascades, low to mid 90s for our west side valleys and will be pretty close to 70 degrees along the coast in Curry County, where I think we'll have more clouds as opposed to sunshine for today. But at the very least, air quality should be pretty good. In fact, it should be pretty good for most of us. And then for tonight, the sun goes down. The winds will calm down. We'll continue to stay pretty smokeless for most of us. You did see that little area flowing into Lake County from the Bedrock Fire. But other than that, again, clear skies for inland areas. Could have some mostly cloudy skies along the coast due to some marine layer influences. Temperatures will resemble what we had for this morning with 40s to the east of the Cascades, low to middle 60s for our west side valleys and middle 50s along the coast in Curry County. Our forecast will essentially stay the same in a Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The only difference is that we incrementally get hotter and that just sets the table for what we have coming on down the pipe for Sunday and Monday and Tuesday as We'll be up into the middle triple digits for the west side valleys and we could be even hotter than this for the Shasta Valley and for the Klamath River Valley and to just pour salt in the wound. We could have some thunderstorms during that time frame as well. So it'll be hot. It'll be dry. There could be a little bit of lightning in the mix as well, which is going to promote some extreme fire weather impacts for Monday and Tuesday, specifically for Siskiyou County. Now there's a lot of time to sort out the details with it and Matt and I will certainly do just that. Here's a seven day forecast for the coast. We'll see some pretty good air quality, just some very patchy fog overnight and then into Thursday morning. Nothing too widespread that we're expecting. And then for Siskiyou County, we should just see some very light haze over the next couple of days and then tracking that chance for thunderstorms in a Monday and Tuesday. We'll see the same thing for the basin and then for the mountains. We should see some pretty good air quality, but also tracking that chance for showers and thunderstorms at a Monday and Tuesday. And then for the Rogue Valley, I think for now we keep the forecast dry, but definitely very hot, especially starting over the weekend. All right, thank you, Josh. So the triple digits, digits we're going to see over the weekend, would you consider that just like a, a small heat wave we're going to be seeing? It really depends on what the rest of the forecast looks like. So if we if we just observe these three days for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, I'd call that a heat splash. But if this continues on a Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, our fuels are going to look very dry and the heat itself is is dangerous just on face value. All right. Well, so a lot, a lot to consider. A lot to consider. Yeah. Well, thank you, Josh. Of course.